I just want to know, is Booster 7 okay? I know so many of us were distracted by the amazing photos from the James Webb Space Telescope, but some of us might have missed this. Yeah, check out this video of this just insane fireball from Booster 7. Now, luckily, Elon has given us a few updates about the booster's condition via Twitter. But this happened on Monday, and look at Lab Padre's video. Booster 7 gave us quite the show, and no, it wasn't planned or even really welcomed. While Elon doesn't usually seem to worry too much about perceived failures, for example, in 2015, after an unmanned Falcon 9 blew up, Elon was quoted saying, the vast majority of people at the company today have only ever seen success. You don't fear failure quite as much. When you get too comfortable, you avoid doing things that are unfamiliar, stick to things you know, and stop learning. If you want to stay ahead of the curve, encourage your team to move out of their comfort zone with a healthy amount of fear. This will help keep your team sharp, checking and triple checking their work while also making sure your business doesn't get stuck. But hey, this time he admitted this was no good. He wrote on Twitter, yeah, actually not good. Team is assessing damage. The fireball resulted when an engine spin start test did not go according to plan. As we know, SpaceX is prepping Booster 7 for the first ever Starship orbital flight test. But a big question people have is, is Booster 7 completely damaged from this event? Well, look at this post, for example, from Lab Padre following this test. He posted this photo of Rover 2, which is just about 100 yards away for perspective. He says, if no windshield or window damage to Rover 2 after yesterday's event, then there won't be any damage six plus miles away to windows or foundations in PI or SPI during a launch. PI Port Isabel and SPI South Padre Island. He writes, I think you're good to go SpaceX. And Scott Manley made a wonderful video analyzing this test, and he even posted this little research on Twitter. He writes, so I did a bit of rough math on this event based on the fact that it was a one atmosphere fuel air detonation over volume, and there are limits on air methane mixture for detonation. The energy release was likely close to a couple of kilos of TNT. And Elon did his own very official inspection with a high-tech flashlight. He shared this video and also wrote this as an update. He said, base of the vehicle seems okay by flashlight. I was just out there about an hour ago. We shut down the pad for the night for safety. We'll know more in the morning. Tim Dodd asked, very curious how this plays out for B7. The biggest question is, how are the engines? What kind of damage was done to them? I'm teetering between it being catastrophic to the engines and tis but a scratch. Scratch. Can't wait to hear what the teams determine and what the next steps are. Elon updated again, saying was just up in the booster propulsion section. Damage appears to be minor, but we need to inspect all of the engines. Best to do this in the high bay. And another Twitter user, Serene, also asked Elon any update on when we could see this orbital test flight. He says, well, if testing goes well, it should be next month. Now, this is something that we already kind of knew, but he's still sticking to that timeline. So this was yeah, definitely entertaining. We haven't seen a fireball like this down at Starbase in quite some time, but it's also a little bit concerning considering that this was not expected. So we're hoping they can get down to the bottom of this, figure things out quickly and still stick to that timeline. We are all so excited for the orbital test flight. In fact, I made a commemorative t-shirt. Look at this design. Thank you to my Patreon subscriber, Scott Carr with Sunlight Products for helping me dream up this awesome shirt. If you would like to get your own shirt, I'll put the link in the description. It really helps support Ellie in Space. So I appreciate all of you for watching this video. I hope that you're having a great day and I will see you in the next one.